hello guys. Uh, first of all, thank you for purchasing my file. So I will show you like uh, easy steps to work all these files out. So uh, you can have a really cool and clean intro for your file company or your for your views on YouTube. So let's start with it. So let's open our C4D main file. It is on the main project zip that I will put it on your folder. It's an easy installation like this. You can run it over like so let's start hiding our mode text and then let's building a new mode text to our scene. So we got a mode text. Uh, the letter I used was a lot I think. Yeah it was a lot. Let's uh, here it is. Our baby. Let's take our scene like over here. So you can check this out better. Uh, I put a little bit of depth, so I'm glad it would look more cool. And then write whatever you want. I write in Faro again, but uh, you can do whatever you want. So we have our letters. Then we increase a bit of like the height. So just for this tutorial. And then we're gonna have to. <clears throat> to put our object like our mode text on on polygon so that the cloner can join him and uh, make that clean the letter. So let's hit C, let's select children, let hit C again, select children and gonna option delete. So we have our mode text on polygons. So the only thing you have to do now is uh, uh, choose your cloner object. On the object, you have to put your mood text that you work with. So it is a the text is already built it in. So we can do a like a fast render. So check this out. Yeah, your letters already are built in with the cloner. Uh, you can change the the distribution, but uh, could be. A little bit bad, so uh, I, I don't know. You, you can use whatever you want, but to make this simple effect, it's like just this. And you have your cool, clean render on it, and the, and the animation with a, with the camera built in the, on this white uh, square. You always have the animation run it like the animation that I saw. So you can press uh, cool, and then you run your intro, and your text, and your company logo tag whatever you want is already built in it so you can render it out and just go to your render edit your settings choose whatever width and height make it big small whatever you want uh, don't forget to put your material lazy like to fast always and use global illumination and maybe the occlusion is always better to move your shadows and your, your reality on the project so you can always increase this a lot, a lot, but it will increase your time rendering. So this is a part from uh, from C4D. Uh, I hope you it's easy for you. Now let's put it uh, the animation on After Effects, and then uh, let's just show you how, how you can do that. Okay? Then you go to After Effects. It's a uh, Easy, simple file to work with. Uh, I think it's no, no worries. So, uh, if you have any question, you can always email me and uh, ask for help to join that file. But uh, I don't think it's not necessary. So, we're waiting for After Effects to run with. Okay, we have our project with a. Uh, with a solid that it's already <clears throat> with a color correction you only have to do is like to go to your file like import your your render images uh, I have mine one over here and then this is what I built in and this is what I made for the for the movie that I, that I put on, on 3D Ocean and I got a live video hyper sorry and uh, this is a really easy to do and you got color correction and you, if you want to 
you can go to you can go to for color grading choose whatever you want but uh, the animation is done like this if you only if you want to change the colors uh, copy and paste the, this animation and you have like the light falling letters so it could be a little bit easier so then and here what you have to do you got to make a movie render it out go for your thing change it a bit make your own thing uh, hope uh, you like all this and uh, hope you use it go for it thank you